All right, y'all. So, several projects going on today. We went to Real King last night. I accept the fact that when we go to Real King, we're most likely going to leave with some chicks. What I did not anticipate was the fact that they were going to have chicks reduced to 50 cents a piece. So we left with 40 chicks and two more geese or goslings yesterday. Okay, so that puts a little bit of pressure on. Then we're on the way home and then we remember we have 40 eggs in the incubator that are going to hatch this week. Sure enough, we get home last night, there's a chick hatched in the incubator. Another one hatched this morning. There's a bunch pipped and some zipping. So we have chickens everywhere. I've got to get the meat birds out of the brooder in the barn here. So which means I've got to shuffle some things around which has forced me to build a super ugly but functional pen for these turkeys that will not stay in poultry netting. I, I'm, my goodness, turkeys are a pain, but they're tasty. So I'm gonna build a turkey pen, which is gonna free up the kennel that we have turkeys in for ducks, which will then free the chicken tractor up for meat birds, which will then free the brooder up for all these chicks we've got. So that's the plan. All right, so we've got friends coming over and uh, because Kylie has chicks in the incubator, right, wait, wait, let me rephrase that. Kylie has eggs in the incubator that are hatching today. So Josiah said since our friends are coming over, he wanted to know if we could move the cows from this pasture to the bottom pasture so he and his pals could run around over here and play without having to worry about the cows being there because the cows have calves. It's not a good idea to trust mommy cows with kids or anybody really um, without a place or a way to escape. So just as a safety precaution, I'm gonna move the cows down to this bottom pasture. Came out here and told y'all what we were doing and then left the camera on recording they moved this in and i was like all right and then i looked at the camera and i didn't actually hit record so i didn't get into that <laughs> go me anyway we moved this over here so we can get the ducks and the gosling in it We're moving these meat birds into the chicken tractor. They're down there collecting more of them. I'm going to take this. I think there's 25 in this blue tote right here. And um, I'm going to stick them in here. And they're putting some more in a big water trough. So we're going to get these babies moved into here. They're going to be so much happier. So these guys have never been in grass before. This is their first time ever out on pasture. So they are like kind of confused. It's gonna take them a while to figure out what to do with it. But uh, they're like, what in the world? <laughs> Never been in the sun before, which is uh, pretty typical of most birds or chicken, poultry you buy from the grocery store. They never see the light of day. But uh, these guys, they're gonna spend the rest of their life outdoors. So pretty cool. All right, y'all. We have had a very busy day. Very successful, productive day. Yes. I told y'all we went to Rural King. Jenna was excited. They had another $6 shirt that she absolutely tie -dye loved. Tie-dye chicken. Does it get better than tie-dye chickens? Like, it's a dream. I wish there were real tie-dye chickens. 
<laughs> that would wow. be crazy. You it could, probably costs a lot of money. You could tie it on some of our meat birds. Ooh, They're yeah. white. Yeah. I could use like blueberries and strawberries. But and the animal like, rights activists would be all over you because that would be unfair for the little chicken that had no choice. Anyway. Peter. People eating people. Yes. I didn't say that. I did. Okay. Anyway, so we got cows moved. Cows moved. Turkeys moved. Turkeys. Ducks. Ducks. Guineas. Guineas. The goose. The goose. Uh, meat birds. Sorry, meat birds. And baby chicks. Uh, baby chicks sort of opened, up. opened up. And did he tell you the incubator? I did. I, yes. Three patch so far, and there's more pipping <laughs> and zipping, and I'm so happy. Yes. But I don't know what to do. I really should sell some of these. I think that we should. Yeah. Yeah. If you Lots were, of them, uh, actually. Baby chicks. Or that. pullets. We might just raise them to yeah, pullets. Yeah, I was thinking we could raise them to pullets and then sell them. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe there's a market for soy free non GMO raised pullets. Probably. I'd buy them. <laughs> Except for our <laughs> All right. All right. We appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for joining us today. We are so happy you're here. If you have enjoyed this, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and then the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a video. We will catch you guys next time. Wait. What? You didn't hit the comment. Oh, comment below. We love to hear from you. Yes. Like, we really love to hear from you. Jenna guys. answers I try, almost every comment. Like, I try to answer as many as I can. Yeah. Sometimes I'm in the middle of talking to kids and then I can't, but like, I try to get through and respond because I like to. I just really enjoy interacting with you guys. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Thank we'll y'all. We'll see you guys later. See you.